top. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, I was berating your species for taking your modern amenities for granted. Oh. For example, it's spring, but I don't see you out in the fields planting the crops. <clears throat> Talk. Tell me something. Have you ever seen the Egyptian pyramids? And not just on PBS, I mean with your own eyes. No. Hmm, I didn't think so. God forbid you should go somewhere farther away than the Starbucks on the corner. <laughs> anyway, can you imagine how much time and work it must have taken to build those pyramids? I mean, there's no way that even a whole group of you little humans could have lifted one of those rocks with your bare hands. They had to invent levers and axles and who God, knows he talks that forever. That evolution. Talk. Let's get this over with. Here's another question for you. Do you wear glasses? Well, actually, it doesn't matter. My point is this. If you'd had bad eyes when you and your ancestors were still running around in the wild, you'd have become some lion's midnight snack pretty darn quick. Oh, and yet, I would have died. Right now, one of the most powerful people in the world is that four-eyed guy in Seattle. You know who I mean. How far do you think you would have gotten in a fight with a lion? Oh, Bill Gates? Is that what they talking about? You humans are totally helpless without your tools. Talk. Are you keeping up with me, Fuzzy? Can I go on? Sure. Okay, good. You might want to pull up a chair because this might take a while. I might speed it up. What? It gets lonely in here. I have to talk to someone. Anyway, as I was saying, at some point, about five or six thousand years ago, humans finally came up with the greatest tool of all. You know what that was? Language. Wow. Look at you. A human after my own heart. That's right. The greatest tool of all is language. Without it, you wouldn't be talking to me right now. I'm not even going to ask if you're grateful. Anywho, <laughs> sooner or later, this guy named Pythagoras came along. You know who he was, right? Yes. Well, good. I can see this conversation isn't a complete waste. So, this Pythagoras fellow came up with another important tool, and that's logic. So, after you have language and logic, you have mathematics and technology and industry and everything else, and that's how you've gotten to where you are today, with your glasses and your cold medicine and farming machinery and cars and TV sets and dreamcasts and rock and roll music and... Okay, so it's a little more complicated than that, but the point is... Humans started out pretty helpless and created all these things to make their lives easier. Just like Whirlpool. And that's great. Whoopee for you. Just be careful not to get too dependent on all your little crutches. Is he well, done? I hope I haven't bored you to death. You have. If I have, go take a nap or something. We'll talk again soon. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. No, I'm done for today. Blah, blah, blah. I'm cranky. He's supposed to say something else. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Why? Did you do something I should be angry about? What? Hello? This better be important. Hello? Yeah, hello. Whatever. Hello? Hello? He's supposed to say something else. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello.
Whatever. Hello? Hello? No. Yes? What else? If you say hello, he goes, coming, your majesty. If you say blah, 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 he'll say, I'm too polite to use that word, so bite me, you baboon face ass scratcher. If you say, um, okay, why don't I stick you in a bowl? Or no, he says, why don't I stick you in a bowl and stare at you all day? Doesn't that sound like fun? If you say, talk to me, he'll say, fine, you're a pain in the ass. How's that? He'll sometimes say, tell me, do... You like your Sega Dreamcast if you say yes, it is good because I have been authorized to award you a check for ten thousand dollars, my ass. He says like some other stuff. When is your birthday? July twenty ninth, nineteen ninety nine. Okay, what else? Talk to me. No? What do you need? Talk to me. Talk to me. Tomorrow. We'll talk again tomorrow. Okay. See, he's not doing it. Oh, I can't feel my face. <laughs> my, my, what the F? <laughs> Who is sucking on me? He'll ask you, um, what's your favorite game on Dreamcast? If you say Dreamcast, he'll say you don't have to butter me up or something. Alright, so that's it. Let's heat this up. Whoops. How'd he go? Would you like to say- Yes. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh god. <laughs> my back. Alright. If you say that you're, if you're with somebody, he'll ask you, are you cheating on your lover or something? And sometimes he'll ask you, is anyone there with you? Oops, sorry. Alright. Now, th today, <laughs> or the next day whenever you play this, um, he'll ask you about um, the game systems that you own. He also asked you about um, JFK. Hello. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean Paul Gasset. Oh, my tummy. There is a definite pattern to your visits. It appears you are a punctual person. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> He's turned on. Run! All right. He should turn into Frogman. Not today. I don't think he'll turn the next day. But the day after the next day, he should. He should have um like arms and legs. I think. Yeah, he has little legs. You can see him like right there. There's a uh, Bob. All right, get everything ready. God, lagging, lagging. <laughs> Ugh.